So I'm not going to talk too much about the construction plan. Most, most, most of us know what goes into construction plan, the kind of put your, your drawings, the, the resources, and, and the program. But I'm going to focus on the instrumentation plan, the ordinance, uh, and the EPP. Sorry, I did not ask you if you wanted to add anything. So I'm going to start with the instrumentation plan, and then we please kind of jump in if you want to say anything. Um, purpose of the instrumentation is to maintain and improve dam safety by providing information to evaluate whether dam is performing as expected uh, and warn of changes that could endanger safety of the dam. Um, it also uh, commenced the data gathering. Uh, the intent, uh, with, which is the intended purpose of any instrumentation. Um, it, it, uh, this plan uh, gives you the overview of the type of sensors available uh, and the instruments in which the sensor will be employed to measure particular parameters. I'm, I'm sorry if you, can I maybe just quickly add to this? I know this is the the terminology that yeah. typically is used with the World Bank, yes, if I it is exactly. that way. But I would highly suggest that you call it the surveillance plan and that you actually include your inspections and your checking and testing because they actually all come together. They should all come together. Yeah. If you don't do it together, if you don't, you only do an instrumentation plan, I've seen it, then there's normally gaps. So I'm, no. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm In my mind, the instrumentation plan is exactly what, what you're saying. Okay. Um, okay. So um, sorry. So, <laughs> and, and yes, this is, this is uh, kind of based on the on the well, yeah, yeah. guidelines. I've, um, I've been trying to get them to judge. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> thank you. What we, are, what we are measuring and why. Um, so, the basic, these are the basic principles. Uh, we collect background information, existing data, undertake visual inspection and completion of survey, uh, and the key performance parameter, as, as you have heard from us, uh, for seepage, for pressures, after earth pressure, displacement settlements. Uh, what is important now is to have threshold and action limits um, should, uh, they, they should be developed for all the key performance parameters and this value should follow uh, through the operation and maintenance plan and emergency, and emergency prevent plan. So, uh, it's the, the monitoring, the, the threshold values, the action plan. This is all part of, 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 of this, what I call instrumentation. Uh, but it, it's, it's all one thing. That's one, the ORNM and the EPP. Um, so uh, next is the, uh, there needs to be a defined objective and reasons for setting up instruments and taking readings. And we, as we have heard, <laughs> Uh, this from, from, from the discussion we had this morning. Uh, to ensure the readings continue to be taken, uh, keep, keep the arrangements very, very simple. Uh, establish a good set uh, of base or initial readings against which the future readings can be compared. That is very, very important. And sometimes um, the designers will need to help you with this. It might not be possible to determine if an instrument is functioning correctly or has become uh, defective, and I did not discuss, discuss this as well. Any ins instrument needs to be installed in an appropriate location. So now I'm just going to say a few more words uh, on the abutment dams and, and then uh, also on the gravity dams. Um, sorry, concrete dams. Um, so for embankment dams, the key, key things which we uh, monitor are crest leveling, telemetry, seepage floor monitoring, groundwater and pond pressure, internal movements, water level monitoring, rainfall data monitoring. Um, 
and uh, ty types of sensors uh, which could be used are uh, the ones for direct treating. Uh, could be mechanical, electrical, could be pneumatic devices, hydraulic devices, or electrical devices. Uh, so for seepage, um, yeah, uh, this is like a, a typical arrangement for a, a, a seepage collection, a seepage wheel, uh, the old, the old, we call it the Vinoch wheel. Um, that's how it looks. Uh, for groundwater and progression and monitoring, we use piezometers, uh, which uh, could be uh, standby piezometers, Casa Grande piezometers, um, could be hydraulic piezometers, uh, vibrating wire piezometers, pneumatic piezometers. Uh, right, I don't know if you want to add anything here. I'll just go through the instruments and then if you want more details, then we can go back to this one. So these are for CPG ground, for oppression ground water monitoring. Uh, for uh, internal movements, uh, we, we monitor vertical movements or segments um, to understand what causes settlements uh, in rock fill or soil. Um, and uh, we need to know why we measure settlements, why settlements occur. Um, and also, it's important to understand whether we have a uniform settlement or whether we have differential settlements. Uh, so, for example, in the clay core, um, you, you, you expect to have a poor pressure dissipation, and that goes into kind of primary consolidation and the secondary consolidation. So, it is expected to have. Um, a, a settlements going on, and but it is on the other hand it expected to have them uh, uni in a uni uniform uniform kind of way to, to, throughout the time. Uh, also, what is important is uh, when uh, when does settlement occur uh, and and the indicators. Uh, so uh, how we monitor settlements, uh, we could use a surface. Uh, we, we could we use a simple settlement monitoring instrument. Um, or uh, there, there are also uh, USB settlement devices, magnetic expensometry uh, system. Um, the, the, in, in, within, the, within the abutment, uh, we can use this automatic double fluid settlement gauges. Okay, uh, for uh, lateral movements, or horizontal movements, um, again, uh, we need to understand uh, what is this lateral movement linked to? Uh, is it slipping, sliding, rotation, or horizontal portion of settlement? Um, where, where, did, uh, where do these lateral movements often occur? Why, measured lateral why, why do we measure lateral movement, movements and the indicators? Um, so um, typical instruments for the for the lateral movements are inclinometers. Um, I still struggle to understand why you would use an inclinometer to actually measure to lateral. Yeah, because it actually doesn't give you the inclinometer measures in play. Uh, for uh, all, all stuff. Uh, for, for, the, for these horizontal lateral movements, we could use uh, in extensometers, um, which could be uh, also wire extensometers. Um, or for the internal movement, um, we, we did use these uh, tilt meters as well, um, which could also be vibrating wire tilt meters. Uh, or this, this is uh, often also used at uh, pendulums. Uh, you're probably familiar with these ones. Um, so other movements, uh, external measurements. Uh, so th these these ones are very often placed surface surveying. 